Hi, this is Gali Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Now today, the quote of the day is, all things are possible if you never give up. Uh, now, not all pop, uh, people believe this, but I have found it to be absolutely true for anything in the realm of possibility. Now, anything is possible if only you don't give up and to continue to persist towards your goal. Now, what exactly is the realm of possibility? Well, only what you believe is in the realm of possibility is in the realm of possibility. In different places around the world, we see that people believe that what is possible for them is different. In some places, spiritual beliefs allow people to do amazing things with their, with their bodies that are not believed to be possible in other places around the world. Now, whereas in other places, people hike and so they achieve this goal. If a human being has achieved something in their life, then there is no reason why anyone else cannot achieve the same and even more. Now, Jesus Christ says in the New Testament that all things are possible for those who believe. So, some people say that when you obsess about something, you will have the energy going non-stop and thus you will reach your goals. This may or may not be true. I don't know if obsession is something good or bad. But what I can say is that if a goal is important to you, then you should go out and do your best to achieve it. Otherwise, you may just regret not doing whatever was possible for you to do at the time. Now, this is a small example. My ex-husband's mother is now in hospital following a stroke. She was intubated and anesthetized uh, twice during the last week. And at the, at the age of 86, this is not something simple. Now, my ex-husband and his brother had a difficult, difficult decision to make. Her uh, blood oxygen saturation levels were going down, and they had to decide whether to intubate her again. And his brother said that they must try. Whereas my ex-husband didn't want to go through this again, and he said that probably she wouldn't want to go through it either. Now, he did not believe it would help her. He had lost hope. But after three days of intubation, in the end, they went and they did the intubation and, and, and uh, sedated her. And after three days of intubation and sedation, they extubated her, uh, meaning they took the tube out. And suddenly, uh, while she was coming out of sedation, she could recognize her boys and even could express herself to them. She can't talk after the stroke, but she can express herself and, and move her body. And it was... It's just so amazing to see her come back to herself and uh, it was definitely worth trying. Uh, now even if for only a short period she will be there with them, still they have the time to be this special time with her and uh, it is really something beautiful to see. Now what we have today in the world all around us would have seemed impossible if we just go a few years back, a few uh, hundred, uh, even thousand years back, what we have today would seem like completely impossible in the mindset of people at the time. Supermarkets, smartphones, even cars, toilets, uh, electricity, refrigerators, these would have all seemed like an impossible dream to most people until it became possible. Unfortunately, it is only our limiting beliefs that are holding us back from achieving what we desire. Now, even uh, if we uh, do not desire much, such as having a family and having enough income to support our life and to have health, uh, for some people this, this may seem very basic, but for others it may seem the world. Everything is possible, and if the normal route to having something specific is not possible, then nowadays there are so many routes to achieving what we desire. For example, having children. Now there is in vitro fertilization to get a, to, to get a woman pregnant, and if she doesn't have a husband, she can choose a mate from a sperm bank to have a child to have a child with them from a sperm bank and if she is uh, too old or past a certain age and uh, to have children then she can adopt or take an egg donor and there are enough uh, men available if she uh, if, uh, well if anybody really would work on themselves and uh, work on their dreams to make them more attractive and appealing to another person 
So the same goes with earning money. There is no need to have a degree today. There are so many opportunities to study something you like within a few months, and you can already be working in that field uh, within a few months after you begin. You can work for yourself online or open a clinic or anything with practically no financial investment today doing something that you love and you have passion for. So really the only person stopping you is you yourself because you are blocking your abundance because of stories that you are telling yourself in your mind. And because of this internal dialogue going on that you feel you have no control over, uh, well, I'm here to say that you do because I was there with a very negative mindset and now I have changed completely my life around and when you become to when you choose to become a little more flexible in the way you see life then you become more open to different opportunities and uh, ways of thought if we look at Oprah for example Oprah's story is truly amazing in what she became and the secret is that she did not put herself in a box and if you do find yourself putting yourself in a box, then you can choose to just come out by opening the door and opening yourself to what is possible for you. In life, our beliefs change as we grow older. We may have uh, believed in fairy tales, in the tooth fairy, and in Santa's reindeers when we were younger. But normally, we, we outgrow these beliefs. And to be honest, the same can be done with our limiting beliefs. We can outgrow them. In a simple method that I'm going to teach you now how to do, you can leap out of your limiting beliefs. And the first step is to know where you want to go. You must go there to this place where you want to be in your imagination. You must create an image or a movie in your mind of what each area of your life would look like if it was perfect. For you so produce this image or movie as best you can in your mind and once you have created the movie or the image in your mind you have basically opened the doors of possibility for you because we will never be able to get anywhere that we cannot see but you can get anywhere that you can see so if you see something in your imagination in your mind it is possible for you to reach this so once you have visualized your ideal version for an area of your life that you would like to improve, now you can imagine a wall between where you are today, where you are standing, and where you can become the ideal version of yourself on the other side of the wall. Now you have this wall, you have the perfect ideal self view here, and where you are today here, and this wall in the middle. So what do you do? You take down the wall. You, all you need to do, you don't even need to take down the whole wall. All you need to do is make a hole in the wall or climb over the wall. So uh, once you do create this hole in the wall or climb or see yourself, even in, you see yourself in your imagination climbing over this wall and standing in the place that you desire to be, now know that it is yours. Your limiting beliefs have been crushed the moment you cross over that wall. And you will soon notice that you have changed. And even with this simple, simple uh, imagination process that you produce in your, in your mind, you do not believe what an effect it can have on you. So you will be a changed person and you will notice small things about you that were not there before. You will notice that you have more courage, that you are stronger, that your self-esteem is higher, that you are more assertive as a person uh, to go after what you desire. And your whole life will start to change after this short internal manipulation process uh, that you've achieved by guiding your imagination to where you want it to be instead of where it currently is. And you can do this for yourself, and you can do this yourself, for yourself. So why delay this visualization? I recommend going and doing this process right now so that you can begin to experience the life that you so desire to have right now. So as always with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life towards a better place. So the question of the day is... What would my life be like in this area if it was perfect? 
Now you can uh, add any area of your life that you want to improve into this question. For example, what would my life look like if my finances were perfect? Or if my relationship was perfect? Or if I had the perfect relationship? Or if my career was on the perfect track? Or if my health was in perfect alignment? And so on. And then go on to imagine this ideal situation in your mind when you have some quiet alone time for you for introspection. See the picture and do the wall breaking exercise that I've recommended here and you will soon be in the place that you dreamed of and that this is what will happen for you. And I'm wishing you a lot of luck. The affirmation of the day is I visualize the attainment of my goals and I know that my success is real. I visualize the attainment of my goals and I know that my success is real. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you can today because what repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness and to produce the results that you want to see in your life. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was of major value for you. I know I had so many limiting beliefs myself and I actually conquered them through this visualization exercise. And uh, every single one of those limiting beliefs you can remove from your life. And just go over this exercise again and again. Maybe one time is not enough for you. Do it again. Do it again until you have conquered this limiting belief that you cannot reach your specific uh, goal. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I upload these kind of videos about every uh, almost every day, five times a week. And also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for any health, um, weight loss, and um, anything to do with a natural lifestyle. Uh, lots and lots of information, programs, books, and courses. Thank you very much.